Black Spectacles is the architect's website for learning design software. This is just one of thousands of tutorials we've built to help you stay current and stay a step ahead of the competition. After this video, check out blackspectacles.com to gain unlimited access to all of our courses. Okay, so this is Grasshopper, intro to scripting in Grasshopper. We know how to get to Grasshopper, we're typing in the command line, there it is, popped up. And we're just going to use, we're going to stay in Grasshopper for this tutorial for now. We don't need to use Rhino, so I'm going to stay full screen. Now, you may have seen this before, the VB component under the scripts, you may have used the functions before. We're going to focus on the VB component. This is VB.net. Um, C Sharp is very similar. The syntax is just a little bit different. Uh, I just find VB to be more accessible and better documented on the web. So we're going to focus on that. And this will get you comfortable with using this component, customizing it, and, and exploring from there and the, um, all the options that you can use it for. We're going to focus on the basic structure of how this works. Um, and just to take a look at this component, you can see it's slightly different from, let's say, another component, or most of the other components, and it has this out function, which is kind of a feedback um, output for your script. You get errors out of here, and other print lines and kind of readouts from there. Um, and we'll look into that closer later. Um, to get to the actual script, it's a right click on that VB part, edit source. Um, you could also double click on the VB part. And there is your canvas. Now you're coding in Grasshopper. You're seeing the guts of how all these components work. All the components look just like this when you get to the guts of them. Um, a lot of it's been fixed and done for you by the guys at Rhino and David Rutten. All this stuff that's under the gray is, um, is fixed and it's um, not necessary for you to mess with this. But here, this white part, put your cursor in there and enter a few times. This is your canvas. This is where all the script happens. It happens between this private sub and end sub thing, which is essentially setting up a function or a method for you. Um, and you can put, when you get a little more um, advanced, you can make your own uh, custom functions down here um, to go along outside of this one. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on this one, on, on customizing our own private little sub here. Um, and let's look at this a little closer. We have this function, this run script thing, has inputs. And the inputs are within these parentheses. Um, and it has outputs as well. And you'll notice that x and y, that looks familiar because it is the inputs to the, um, this battery or this component. And as well as you'll notice the A is also, um, you'll recognize it from the outside, it's the output. So if you want something to go out, you're going to use the A, or, or oh, let me show you how you can customize that. Um, this is a new function in the, 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 the scripting component. When you zoom in, you get options to play with the inputs and outputs. Um, so under the plus, you can add an input, and this is actually the output side, and you can add inputs over here or take away uh, inputs. Like for instance, if you want to get rid of the X, press the minus, it's gone. If you want to put it back in, it's, it's back. New one there. Or let's add a let's add another one under A. And it automatically titles them for you, but I will show you here how you can change the titles. I, let's zoom back out. And we're going to right click on the X and up here you can change the title of it. Let's call it user input. Click out of that. Now let's let's go back to there. Because down here is some important stuff. This is where you're telling Grasshopper things about that input. For instance, type hint here. So let's look back at the scripting um, component on the inside, at the source code. You can see here, first of all, that it's added all those extra ones on here. There's Y and there's also Z. You remember we just added a Z and there's also B. Now for now, B is the output. For now it's calling them objects, which is the generic term for a coding um, object. If we want to give it a sp more specificity, and we will need to, uh, it's, it's very important to tell Grasshopper exactly what you're giving it and what you're outputting. Um, we're going to go back into here, we're going to right click on these guys, and down here under Type Hint, um, you can see all the options you have for what kind of thing it is that you're giving Grasshopper. Um, for instance, right now it's the system object, but if we want to give it, um, let's say, a point or a line, or a circle, or an arc, it's all here. Um, these things are, are, are more generic scripting types. An integer, you know that from math. A double is, is, only, is simply an integer, only with um, decimal places. 
Um, string is simply a set of alpha characters, meaning it's a, like a sentence or a, or a name. Um, so for instance, for now let's try a string. So I clicked on string, which means that when I go here now, string has been highlighted and checked. So now it, it means that I'm, Grasshopper knows that I'm going to give it a string. Now let's try to give it a string under params and under the, this panel, which is the easiest way to give it one. We double click and give the classic intro to coding string, which is hello world. And we're going to input that straight into user input. Now for now, nothing's happened. Um, there's no errors. Though if we were going to get errors, let's grab another one of these uh, panels and send the output into here. If we were going to get errors, we would get them here. Or of course, you get them in that little box that pops up like this one. Um, let's try an output, or let's try using this thing that we're sending in. So let's go back into here. And under user input, now you can see that it knows that it's a string because we told it that. So it's changed this source code for us under the gray stuff that's fixed. Now let's do something with that. Um, as you can see, as I've mentioned before, these parentheses describe the inputs and outputs of a function, or sometimes just the inputs. So let's try a function that is very simple. Print is a is a function that uh, Grasshopper knows, and you'll you'll get to know all the different functions, and you'll know where to search for them as well if you don't know them. And let's give it an input. Here's a nice a nice aspect of this this script editor. It recognizes this as a function as you've typed it, and it can tell you more detail about that function. For instance, um, it knows that what it wants is a string in, in text form. Um, and then it, it's telling you what the output is, and it's a string to print out. And by print out, it means it's going to go to our panel that's outside there. So let's say I want to give it a string that's going to print. And we know that this is a string. So that's going to be my input to the print function user input as we titled it before. So what happens when we do that? It comes out of our print. Is anything coming out of these? Nothing. No, no. We haven't given it anything out of there. But we can try that. Let's copy this panel. Let's get another panel. Let's send A into there. It's nothing for now. It's null. But if we go back in here and send it out to A. Now in this case, it's we're setting A as a variable, and we're setting it equal to something, and you'll see this later. Now we're going to set A equal to user input. So what we're doing there is we're saying that the output variable, which is A, we're going to set that equal to the input variable, which is user input. Um, and we don't need to tell Grasshopper that A is a string. It figures it out, and it's not necessary because it's just sending it out. It doesn't have to work with it. But now you can see that it's coming out of the A portal. Still nothing out of B because we haven't done anything there yet. But there you go. The print function sends things out here. And if there's an error, it also sends things here. And the output variables send things through, obviously, their, their own title. You can find the next tutorial in this course on blackspectacles.com. Just click the link below this video. And for other tutorials in architecture software, check out blackspectacles.com. It's the architect's website for learning design software with courses in software like CAD, Revit, Rhino, 3ds Max, Grasshopper, Photoshop, and many more. Visit blackspectacles.com now to see more free tutorials and to gain unlimited access to our entire course library.